Oh, hold on a sec. Um... I was about to start this up, but then I realized that this file is empty. This file should not be empty. I- that was there this morning. Why is that file empty? I hope the battery on my copy of Paper Mario ain't dying. Maybe I was just having a brain fart and I deleted it while copy-pasting files. I'm hoping that's the case. Anyway, hello everyone! Welcome back to my game! My, not my game, this game! Boy, it would be impressive if I made this game. Also, hello there, Stripe Back, who just appeared in the Twitch chat. Did you hear about Pokemon Sword and Shield? I heard about it, I have not seen the trailer yet. I was considering doing a live reaction to it, but I decided eh, it probably wouldn't be interesting enough. My reaction wouldn't be anyway. Now then, I'm gonna do some cooking before moving on, as if we haven't done enough cooking. If I'm going for 100%, I really wanna get all of these recipes cooked up because there's still a lot of them to do. So, I'll go ahead and cook a Mushroom and Strange Leaf, which I acquired off-camera. I also did some other things off-camera. Sort of. I recorded myself doing things off-camera. I recorded myself doing some Chuck Quizmo quizzes and some star pieces. Figured I would save some time rather than spend a whole lot of time looking for them. Um, uh, I was going to show the footage that I recorded of me getting that stuff, but I don't have it prepared yet, so maybe in the next stream. Anyway, got myself a Voltrum. Technically, I already have Voltrums stored away in the store, but needed to get that recipe out of the way. In fact, while I'm at it, I can go ahead and... Oops, no. I can just go ahead and cook this Voltrum for another thing. Alright, so I got, uh, Hot Shroom, 15 HP, 5 FP, that's pretty good, and a Boiled Egg, 8 HP and 8 FP. I'm not entirely sure why you need a leaf in order to boil an egg. You could probably do that without a leaf. But then again, I guess you need some sort of trigger in the programming to know to boil it instead of fry it. Tasty is not too smart. Now then, how about we get ourselves a recap of what is going on right now, because we're getting ready to start up another chapter here. So let me head over to the recap girls. I heard that someone saw a huge monster at the port. I think it's some kind of giant, scary fish that rose from the deep sea. Christy, you're priceless. I bet you're right. Oh, you think? I, Felicity, thought it was just a poor, troubled whale. Interesting. So now we got the names of two of these toads. I wonder who the third one is. I'm sure we'll find out eventually. So, I guess this means we're heading to the port to figure out what has washed ashore there. Oh yeah, it's that big lump of an island that appeared. I guess it's actually become important now. So, let's go ahead and check it out. And also see what other folks over here have to say. Because I can. And I'd like to. There's no use trying to fill it fish with no caterpillar. Gar, what a fix I'd be in. Well, there's nothing for it but to find me different bait. Oh well, yeah, you had that, uh, fuzzy peed creature before. It was very much not okay with being bait. Understandably so. Welcome to Club 64. What's up with no customers? Isn't that Shy Guy epidemic over with already? We need some good press. Maybe some attraction to draw people to the area. I mean, times are hard, you know what I mean, dude? People need a reason to grin. 
You know, it's kind of weird in situations like this, when things are kind of bad and you almost feel bad for trying to be cheerful during bad times. It is kind of necessary, though. Where it is, something strange is floating at the port. Well, that's even more bad news. Now people just have another reason to stay away from here. What a fine how-do-you-do. Does anybody say that anymore? Hello, Mario. Do you happen to know the owner of the bad shop that recently opened? Ralph? I met that Ralph in a different town a long, long time ago. Back then, he was selling rare foods, not badges. I recall that he had a beautiful wife at the time. They worked so hard together to build a business up from nothing in that town. His wife doesn't seem to be here in Toad Town, though. I wonder what happened. Hmm. Implied divorce? Oh, so is Stripe Bat gone? Did Stripe Bat completely miss the part when I said that I adore skunks? A thing that looks like an island has been floating in the port for days. But just recently, it moved right next to the pier. Brr. I wonder if one day soon it'll come ashore. M Mario, could you possibly go see if it's dangerous? Okay, Stripe Back is here. Well, that's weird. Twitter, uh, Twitch is telling me that only one person is watching, despite there being two of you here. Oh, well. That's Twitch for ya. An odd fellow's been hanging around the port lately. All he does is stare out at the horizon and mumble about treasures and the like. Look, he's here again today! Oh hey, it's Colorado! Let's get out Cooper. He's going to love this. Hmm, who am I you say? Why, my dear chap, I am none other than Colorado, famed adventurer and archaeologist. I'm touring the world! And you're Mario, yes? What are you doing here? Well, I for one am traveling bravely to Lava Lava Island in the Southern Sea to solve a diabolical mystery. It would seem that there are ancient treasures waiting in a volcanic cave. I'm in a bit of a fix though. No way to get there, you see. Hmm, think now, Colorado. How to cross the sea? Are you going to fanboy at any point, Cooper? I mean, you kind of did the last time we saw him. Are you just over him or something? Man, you just don't say much. Oh, now this thing is shaking. And it's shaking even more. Ouch! Youch! What are you doing? Oh, good heavens! I was wondering what this was. It seems to be a huge tuna. Ugh, I'm not a tuna. I'm a whale. I have problems. Feels like something's jumping around in my belly. Ow, ow, ow! Help me! Hmm... I say, old boy, this great tuna seems to have a bit of a bellyache. Mario, let's say you lend the fish a hand, hmm? Ugh, I told you I'm not a tuna. I'm not even a fish. I have a headache from your jumping around on me, too. Do you think you could check my belly? I'm begging you, please. This looks like a job for Dr. Mario. But first... Some folk are calling it a tuna, but it's obviously a whale. Pretty huge, isn't it? I wonder how many Goombas would fit inside one whale. Why would you ask that? He may look scary, being so big, but his eyes seem kind. Oh, Goombario was anxious to come in here. Alright, let's see here. Ow! My tongue! What are you doing? Oh, sorry. Uh, let me let me uh, see what we got here. 
um, yeah, this is a tongue, all right. But they certainly put a lot of effort into animating this. But between the giant squiggling tongue, us walking into the whale, and Goombario talking about how many Goombas would fit inside a whale, it makes me wonder about some of the writers of this game. Wah! Who dot? What do you think you're doing with that light? I'm investigating. I'm also betting you're the issue. Either that or some of the flotsam in here. And first strike. Failed. You had one job, Mario. You had to show the crowd, the people watching this video, that you can get a first strike on this guy, but it doesn't count. You, you actually can't get a first strike, even though it acts like you can. Hey fella, you want a piece of this? You got it. I'm ornery as all get out. Prepare for some pain. Um, not really in the mood for pain. I'm a doctor. I reduce pain. Here's my assistant. There we go. And you're kind of hanging up out there. Hold on a sec. I want to try something. Let's get out Goombario and see if we can tattle him. Um, as a matter of fact, we can't tattle him. In fact, I'm pretty sure that in this fight, the only character who can do anything is Watt. In fact, Mario can't do anything either unless Watt is out. Alright, let's get you down from there, because you hanging on the ceiling is not going to do us any good. It's also probably mildly uncomfortable for the whale. And you're back up there. Yeah, that's going to be annoying. I'm going to have to tell you not to do that. Alright, once again, get down. Although, thinking on it, this earthquake business is probably not entirely comfortable for the whale. No, I should probably stop that. There we go. Aww. Shucks. First I think I get away from that old fisherman. And then I get all swallowed up by some huge fish. And then this fellow with a mustache goes upside my head. I've just been falling out of frying pans into fire since I was just a grub. Talk about a lousy lot in life. I would not want to be a bug. Is this guy a bug? I mean, he's a fuzzy pea, so maybe he's kind of like a bug. Or maybe like a worm? A worm bug? Mario, it's me! You know, the whale. Can you hear me? That stomach ache seems to have cleared right up. I feel fantastic. Well, nice to know it wasn't the flotsam then. Um, that probably is going to wind up being a problem later on, though. Hey, it's you, boy! You're that dumb old fish that ate me up all um, and such. You plumb idiot. You know, I thought I was a goner for sure. I'm awfully sorry. I was just having, having a nap with my mouth open. Well, I suppose I can see my way to forgiving you this time, but you just watch it. Uh, I reckon I owe you some thanks after all, Mr. Mustache. Y'all take care now. How did us beating this guy up result in things being better anyway? I guess because he's unconscious instead of bouncing? Well, whatever. <laughs> okay, preempted that joke apparently. Phew, 
I feel so much better now. They should call you Dr. Mario. Yeah, you're, you're late there. There must be some way I can express my gratitude. I've got it. I, the tuna, am... I mean, I, the whale, am quite good at swimming. To express my thanks, I'll take you anywhere you want to go. Pardon the eavesdropping, but did you just say anywhere? Mario, you old tuna tamer. Accompany to me to the shores of Lava Lava Island. What a trip it'll be. The island will be wonderful. You must trust my instincts. Mario, um... I think the star kid said that a star spirit was... Um, caught on the big Lava Lava Island. We, um, we should go. Big Whale, give us a ride. Whee! Given that we can't even win that fight without Watch Out, I imagine that none of your other party members have dialogue at this point. Huh? Lava Lava Island? Yes, of course I know where it is, but... There's a big volcano on the island, and it's on the verge of your erupting. Very dangerous. Do you still want to go? Well, okay then. It's your call. Just let me know when you're ready to go. Alright, cool. Alright, so now what do I do? I'm actually kind of... Curious what people have to say now that I have done this. And I just need to bi delete a big block of my notes so that I know who it is that I want to talk to. Because only certain characters knew, ha have new things to say. Alright, let's go. This is save. I probably also want to heal. I beg your pardon? The thing floating at the port was a whale? Oh, silly me. I shouldn't have been so frightened. You're going to Lava Lava Island on a whale? Mario, there's no such island. And furthermore, there's no way you can ride a whale. I'm shocked that you would make up such lies, Mario. Out of everybody in Toad Town, I am most curious what this Toad will have to say once we get back from the place. Who else it would be interesting to talk to? How about you? How many times has Bowser kidnapped Peach anyway? It seems like every time you turn around, she he's done it again. Maybe Bowser just wants to eat the cakes the princess bakes. Yeah, that must be it. As a matter of fact, that is actually the actual plot of Super Mario Galaxy 2. Bowser kidnaps Peach because he wants her cakes. True story. Let's go ahead and tell Felicity she was right about the whale. Can you believe that the monster at the port really turned out to be a whale? I bet that thing would have caused big problems if Mario hadn't helped it. Mario's so super. He notices things other people totally miss. Oh, it was a whale. I'd like to take a ride on a whale sometime. That does actually sound like it might be kind of fun. I wouldn't mind riding on an orca. Uh, I know they're kind of notorious for being called killer whales, but I'm pretty sure they can be uh, friendly. I mean, look at Free Willy. Boy, that, that's an old movie to reference. How old is that movie? Stripe back says, Peach's cakes made entirely out of water. Yeah, that, that's some cake. Low on calories, though. Oh, yeah. Fuzzy piece over here, in case anybody was wondering. Hey, y'all. I'm not going to be caught by that fish mail fella again. You can believe that. I bet he ain't catching diddly without me. Who? Probably not. 
Mario, old boy, you must remember to take me to Lava Lava Island with you. Alright, if you insist. You wanna go to Lava Lava Island? Yes. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Well, oh, sure this is safe then. Make some room, hmm? Okay, we're off to Lava Lava Island. The sea is calling. I can't believe we're on a tuna. Mario, do you ever think about how strange life is sometimes? I do. I'm pretty sure that's what he was saying. It kind of closed automatically on me. Yeah, this guy is definitely a good swimmer, considering he's able to paddle himself forward without putting his tail fin in the water. And so we have arrived at Chapter 5, Hot Hot Times on Lava Lava Island. They certainly love those repeated words, don't they? So we will be right back after we get back. Because we're going on an episode break. It's an episode break! Be right back!